Hi guys, this is Nikki Blue from TikTok, and I'm being a little risky making a 10 minute video, but everyone's eating, which I don't get to do anymore. Everyone's on their lunch break. So, it's just me alone in my hospital room. That's the windows. I had to move the roses and balloon because I had to put water in the roses. This is my bed and the light above it. If I had oxygen, it would go there. This is my tray with no food because I never get to eat. That's the hospital laptop. That's my calendar for today. And I'm watching Annie. That's my sink right there. But my bag, roses, and get well blown is all over the sink. I thought someone came to the door. It was next door. That's my sink that, that I can barely use. That's my fluids. That's the air vent. So, um, I'm going to be careful, but I want to show y'all everything. So... That's my new stomach. And um, this is my drain right there. You can see it right here. And my drain goes over the bed, right down through there. It's been really hard because um, I've been cleaning it and the nurses have been cleaning it and it just leaks and gets on the beds and no one wants to do any more work than they have to so they just let it go. I have to say half my hospitalized stay was good. Because I had nurses that cared, you know, and um, the other half, not only did they not care, they went out of their way to make me feel horrible. This is my first day in St. Thomas Ascension, Westside. My night nurse was nice. And I'm, I'm not going to give out names. I don't want anyone to get in trouble. But my day nurse, not so much. Pretty much saying, even though I'm in a ton of pain, just deal with it. Even though the doctor prescribed me these pain medicines, she's not giving them to me. I guess it's just her way of enjoying watching people be in pain. So I don't really, I don't really understand that. Um, and then you got nurses that listen to the doctors and do everything they can to make you feel better and feel better. So, I wish I could get out of this bed and show you guys more of the room. But the bed starts beeping when I get up and they won't turn it off. So that's that with the hat. Um, 
it's a 50-50 experience. You know, if you get a good nurse when you're in the hospital, it's great. But so much of the time you get one that wants you to be in pain, don't care, and just spends her time on Facebook and YouTube and not do her job. So... Yeah, I wanted to get up and check my bag for a bunny that someone gave me. But there's no way I can do that while holding the phone. Then I have to hold, looks like a colostomy bag. And then I have to hold my IVs. And open up the bag. So it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I'll look for them later maybe. But let's give you guys a head up on TikTok. I wanted to go in on Christmas Eve. But my family didn't want me to. So I didn't go. A few days later, the pain came back on New Year's Eve. And I couldn't take it anymore. So I went to the hospital. They did a emergency gallbladder surgery to get rid of my gallbladder. As they got rid of it, they scraped it, the entire insides. So, and that happened at the Cumberland County Hospital ran by Covenant Health in Crossville. Can't blame them though. You know, it was Christmas Eve. The main surgeon was at home with his family. So the only surgeon around was just some, you know, substitute teacher. <laughs> the day after they messed up the surgery, I had to go to St. Thomas in Murfreesboro where they put in one stent. Then I went home to recover. But it, caught, it kept getting worse. I kept getting in more pain. I would sweat for 48 hours at a time. It hurt so bad. I thought after a couple of days the pain would get better. But it kept getting worse. So. Finally had the guts to go back to the hospital. In Crossville. They did a CT scan. And they realized that bowel was leaking from my gallbladder into my chest. Then they did a third surgery where they repaired it by putting in another stent, so two stents. And tying it off so that it wouldn't leak anymore. A day later, they realized file was still getting into my system somehow. So they did a CT scan of my belly. It was the second one. And they decided it was best that I go to this hospital in Nashville. And now their first test is going to be a MRI.